I don't know if we need something more funny. Something just completely random. Yeah, but no legs, no problem is more comical than what we do. Ah, that's fine, fuck it. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine, fuck it. There you go, there's your answer. <laughs> I'm Johnny Cluizzi and I play power chair football. If I would describe power chair football, I would say it's passionate, it's as aggressive as any sport, uh, but the, the teamwork comes first. And well, you, it's, like, it's like going into battle, really. What got me into Pajio football, I would say, just wanting to be competitive in a sport because I was so used to going to school and not being able to participate in like PE classes. So this was a way to be part of something. My favorite part has got to be probably the social side uh, but just you get to meet a lot of new people, travel around the country, around the world even. So it's just, it's an amazing uh, sport to be part of. A family, it's a family atmosphere, part of a team, you know, part of a squad. It helps you increase your value as a person on and off the pitch. You learn, when you lose a game, you learn. When you win, you learn as well. The disability is Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but um, in my way of life, I don't see it as a, as a disability. Like They call it a life-limiting disease, but I don't feel limited in any way. The long-term long implications of the disease is probably, it's, it's around like, the muscles like, that doesn't allow them to develop in the first place. So it slowly deteriorate. So physically, it affects you. I feel good as I am, like I feel healthy, so you just have to take, take each day as it comes, don't think about the, the science of it really. So I'm, I'm Massimo, I'm Gianluca's brother. As a big brother, he's, he's very big brother-like, as in he'll tell me what to do and think he's right all the time. Because I am. Well, maybe 90% of the time, you're right. It is a pain sometimes, but it is what I know, and it's all I've known. So to me, it's, it's just it's normal, it's every day, isn't it? It's, it's the same for me. Exactly. It's what, it's what we know. <laughs> There's someone that's been able-bodied all their life. Suddenly, they lose the ability to, to walk. It's going to affect them really badly because it'll be something new to them completely. Exactly. exactly. But for me, I've grown up with it. Like, I could walk until the age of 11, and then after that, but at that age, I seem to take it really well, I don't know. I mean, and I since was, then... I was six, seven years old. So for time. him... And I don't remember anything before, before the age of yeah. 12, really, so for me, it's always been what it is. So it's normal, really. Make sure it's tight. What we mm. do is we make the best of each situation we're in. And we have a laugh. Have a time. laugh and have Comedy. a good time. And we go life. out and we have a better time than most people would. And in some ways, we probably have a better life than most people. In my family, I've got my own people I look up to as well. And I think it's good to have people to look up to. It gives you something to work to in some ways, but you have to remember to be your own person. <laughs> Second weekend at Nationals this season. We won all four games this weekend, we have four games. And just now I scored a hat-trick. So, over the moon really, to be honest. Um, it's just good to play as a team. Played well as a team. Everyone played well this weekend. Free parking is a really good advantage.